Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Amber and in today's video, I'm sharing with you the habits that I am bringing into 2023. Most of these habits are new and some of them are old, but I think with everything in me that if I implement these habits, next year might just be one of my greatest years ever. I know it's December, I know it's Christmas time, I know people are caroling, partying, eating, shopping, but I am not focused on any of those things. And it's not because I think those things are bad, it's just that I'm so excited for next year. I'm just so motivated right now. I have so many things I wanna do. And I really believe that the things I'm so excited about are just visions and dreams and desires that God has given me and that makes it even more exciting. What I'm gonna do now is just start off sharing with you some habits that are older, things that I did this year that I'm taking into next year with me. The first thing I'm going to continue to do is continue waking up at 4 a.m. Waking up at 4 a.m. is not something I do every day, but it is something I do most days. And whenever I wake up at 4 a.m., I have the most productive days. And I also just want to tell y'all that productivity is not just out here doing, 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 going, going, going. No, being productive is just making the best use of your time. And another part of being productive is just planning and preparing for what's to come. And that's pretty much what this whole video is about, right? I'm just trying to get myself prepared and beginning to plan for what's coming. So back to my 4 a.m. wake up time. I know some people think that's, that's weird. Some people are like, oh my gosh, why do you do that? And I don't really know why people ask questions like that because it's me waking up and not them. However, I do wanna say that this is just a game changer in my life. I have the most energy, the most focus, and the most creativity in the morning. So as a way to capitalize off of that, I just said, hey, get up at 4 a.m., hit the ground running, let's go, like let's do it. Another habit I cultivated this year, which I thought was really good, is making 9 a.m. the hour where I actually begin engaging with the world. What I mean by that is the first five hours of my day, I don't talk to people. However, I do talk to my husband. Obviously, we wake up next to each other. Good morning, have a great day, blah, blah, blah. But other than that, the first five hours of my day, I don't talk to people. And that is something I think has worked wonders for me this year. It's just a great boundary to have. It's just good for you know self-care and getting myself ready for the day. I am not much of a, how do I say this? My husband is a severe extrovert. I, on the other hand, I love people. I love getting to know people. People are great. However, people take up a lot of my energy. So I do like to just have five hours of the day to myself just to get ready. I'm also bringing my morning routine into 2023. I finally was able to find a morning routine for me that would be amazingly effective. And it has been so effective. My morning routine, in short, just so y'all know, is getting up, obviously, and going into a time of meditation and silence. I also uh, journal right after that. Once I'm done journaling, I spend time reading my Bible. Once I'm done reading my Bible, I spend time praying. And after I'm finished praying, I read my affirmations. I do not like being rushed in the morning. I, I hate it so much. I don't wake up trying to catch up with the day. Like that is such a terrible feeling. And so getting up at 4 a.m. and doing this morning routine allows me to spend as much time with God as I want to. But I do wanna say once I have finished my affirmations, that's when I typically go into a time of looking at the day ahead, what do I need to do? I also unload the dishwasher, I make sure I know what the meal plan is for the day, if there's one, because that's another area of growth I really have to get together. And just getting set up for the day, so I really like the morning routine that I have now. 
The last habit I started doing this year that is coming with me into the new year is planning out my day the night before. So sometimes, as of lately, I have been doing this in the mornings and I don't like it. I prefer to know what I'm supposed to do the next day at night before going to bed. So I feel like once I have my day planned out that night, then I wake up in the morning, I already know what the game plan is. There is no, okay, well let's sit down and figure out what we're doing. No, like let's just go ahead and get into it because we already know. If you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Now let's talk about some new habits and some new things that I plan to do next year. I decided to break these down into categories, that way I don't confuse myself or you. So the first category is spiritual. The biggest habit I have next year in this category is to fast more. I really want to make fasting part of my lifestyle. I think fasting is so good for me it has amazing benefits for me. It just does something in my relationship with God. And so I don't wanna just do it a few times a year. I wanna do it more regularly. I don't know what that looks like right right now, but I am going to be intentional to put together uh, maybe some type of schedule or adding dates to my calendar just so I'm prepared and so that I do it more routinely. I also plan on memorizing more scripture. I really think the more scripture that you have memorized and whenever you really have God's words hidden in your heart, it just changes things. I wanna be able to be in different positions where if I were to feel overwhelmed or anxious or scared or doubtful or whatever, just to have God's word just come to me and really be able to give me the peace that I need. Or if I'm praying for someone, dealing with something, just having those words hidden in my heart to not only make the prayer even more powerful, but also to encourage that person using the words that they really need to hear most. Now let's talk about some habits that pertain to my physical well-being. I need to drink more water. There's just no other way to put it. I need to drink more water because I don't really drink water. I'm just being honest. Like, it, it's embarrassing how much water I drink. Now, for some reason, I have discovered lately that whenever I pour water into a mason jar and put a straw in it, I drink it more. I don't know why that is, but it's working, so I'm going to continue to do it, okay? By all means necessary, whatever I gotta do to drink more water, that's what I'm gonna do. The second thing I really need to do is I need to exercise more. My bones are literally weeping. Like, my joints are so bad. I need to exercise more. My goal is to find some exercise activities and workout plans or whatever that I really like and enjoy. So that way when I exercise, it really won't feel like exercise, it'll feel like fun. But if there's something that y'all do that you just love, just drop it below in the comments because I'm open to anything at this point. I will say I do well having an instructor. Like I do well having somebody tell me what to do. In addition to that, I plan on eating healthier in the next year. I dropped the ball this year. I was so bad this year. I'm embarrassed at myself. I'm embarrassed at all the plates I had throughout the year. It was just so bad. But next year, I'm getting back into 2021 era, Amber, and how I ate so many vegetables and so much salmon. It was so good for me. Really, I want to increase my vegetable intake and eat less meat. So if I can do that, I think I'll be in pretty good shape. Oh, and sugar, y'all, my sugar intake is. In addition to that, I plan on taking my vitamins daily because I am so inconsistent. Taking a vitamin is not hard. It's really not, I just don't do it. So I'm gonna get better at it. Then the last thing in this category that I want to cultivate is just getting seven to eight hours of sleep. What did I just say? I need to get seven to eight hours of sleep every night. And I think right now I'm just not consistent with that either. 
I'm so pressed to get up at 4 a.m. But Amber, you got to go to bed early too. Like they're like, no, like just. The only habit I want to do as it pertains to my finances is to begin to track and follow a monthly budget. My husband and I do have a financial advisor who gives us a certain amount of money each month to work with. No, by the way, we are not trust fund babies. Let me back up. We have a real estate business and I also do other things that bring in income. And so we just have our money um, allocated to go into different accounts. And so all of our money is not in the same account. So, uh, not trust fund babies, no. We don't have any family members writing checks, nothing like that, I just wanted to say that. My goal in 2023 is uh, to pay attention more to where our money's going and how we're spending it and just seeing um, how we can get better. Now let's talk about some habits that pertain to my mental health. Mental health is so, so important. I am very passionate about this area because I, I have a brain that works against me a lot. I'll put it like that. I think throughout the years, I have done a stellar job at really growing in this area and overcoming some hurdles. Like I really think I have, but there's some other things though that I really want to add let me say that again. There are some other tools in this area that I wanna add into my toolbox. The first is to pick back up going to therapy and seeing a counselor. I really have benefited so much from this in my life. I don't know where I would be without it, honestly. Throughout this year though, there are some things that really jumped out at me and that were brought to my attention that really made me take a step back and say, okay, Amber, you need some healing here. And so next year, I plan on doing just that. I plan on um, finding a professional to work with to help me grow in these areas and just be healed of some hurts so that I can continue to be the best version of myself, not just for me, but also for my family, for my friends, and also for y'all. I also really, really, really want to spend more time next year doing things that I enjoy. I don't really have hobbies. I don't really have activities I do that get me excited except uh, Netflix, The Real Housewives of Potomac, and phone games. So I really need to branch out and find some hobbies and some things that I just enjoy and love. And the last thing in this category that I am determined about is having a night routine. I have a morning routine, so I have a whole routine that gets me ready for the day, but I also need a routine that helps me get ready for bed at night. A lot of times what happens is I just kind of rush through my evenings, like before bed, I'm like, oh snap, it's nine o'clock, let me hurry up, let me try to be in bed in the next 30 minutes. But there's different things I have to do, and so all that does is delay my bedtime. So I really just wanna spend more time um, planning a night routine and figuring out what's gonna work for me and setting myself up for success. And the last area just has to deal with more personal habits of mine, or maybe this is good just to call miscellaneous, I don't really know, but I do wanna spend less time focusing on entertainment next year. I spend a lot of my time um, watching TV and being on social media. And next year, I really just wanna have a better balance with those things. It's not like they're bad, I just need to have more self-control. And the big habit for me next year that I think the first quarter I'm just gonna drive in the ground is posting more consistently on YouTube. I don't know why I do this to myself, but I don't spend a lot of time planning for my YouTube channel. And so what happens is it leads me to being inconsistent. So next year I am determined to have a schedule when it comes to brainstorming my topics, developing those topics, filming, editing, posting. 
I just need to have a better system because right now I don't really have a system, but I'm determined to create a system so that I can show up more, not just for myself, but also for y'all. Well, those are all of my habits. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If there's something I shared that really resonated with you and you're like, hey, Amber, I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna take that. Go ahead and drop it below. Or maybe you just wanna share with me something that you plan on doing next year. Go ahead and share that. We are all a community here. We are all about being the best for God. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We would love to have you join our community. Don't forget to share this video with a friend and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Take care.